Something deep beneath the ice-crowned summit of Mount Rainier has started to stir again. It began as faint tremors, tiny quivers that most would never feel. But for those who know the language of the earth, these signals are never ignored. The mountain, long asleep but never truly silent, seems to be whispering a warning once more. Could it be that America's most dangerous volcano is inching toward another awakening? Or are we only hearing echoes of a restless world beneath our feet? Over the past few weeks, a growing web of seismic activity has rippled through the area surrounding Mount Rainier. Instruments scattered across the Cascades from the valleys of Washington State to the icy slopes of Rainier's upper flanks have begun to register subtle changes, minute shifts in pressure, slight fluctuations in ground temperature, and low-frequency tremors that geologists describe as volcanic murmurs. These are the kind of signs that make scientists uneasy because they do not simply happen at random. They usually mean movement, magma, gas or water finding new paths beneath the mountain's colossal frame. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, maintains an ever-watchful eye on Rainier, one of the highest peaks in the continental United States, towering over 4,392 meters, about 14,411 feet. It dominates the landscape, its presence visible for miles across western Washington. For most residents, it's a source of pride, beauty, and identity. But to those who study volcanoes, it's also a ticking clock, one that could one day mark a catastrophic hour. In recent days, reports have emerged of low rumbling sounds being heard by residents near the mountain's southern slopes, particularly around Ashford and Eatonville. Some describe the noise as distant thunder that did not fade, while others compared it to heavy machinery working underground. Local authorities initially dismissed the sounds as related to nearby quarry operations, but later confirmed no industrial activity was taking place at those hours. By then, seismometers had already confirmed it. The ground was trembling, though subtly. The tremors are small, yes, but history has shown that small movements beneath stratovolcanoes like Rainier can sometimes precede something far greater. Mount St. Helens began with a similar series of minor quakes before its infamous 1980 eruption that sent ash across multiple states. The difference is that Mount Rainier is vastly larger, more ice-covered, and far closer to dense population centers. More than two million people live in areas that could be affected by its lahars, those deadly volcanic mudflows capable of swallowing valleys whole in minutes. So what exactly is happening now? The answer depends on who you ask. Officially, the USGS Volcano Hazards Program has not raised Rainier's alert level. The agency notes that the current seismic pattern, though elevated, is not yet considered a clear precursor to eruption. But some independent volcanologists and local researchers see more beneath the data. They point out that the recent tremor clusters resemble deep, long-period earthquakes, a type of seismic event often linked to the movement of magma several kilometers below the surface. These quakes, typically occurring at depths of four to eight kilometers, roughly two and a half to five miles, suggest that something molten may be shifting, slowly, almost imperceptibly, but definitely moving. Satellite imagery has also shown minor surface deformation near Rainier's summit, with one area on the northeast flank appearing to bulge by a few centimeters. This might sound insignificant, but such subtle inflation, if sustained, could indicate pressurization below the volcano. It's like the mountain is breathing in, preparing for something uncertain. Meanwhile,
Climbers and rangers have reported faint sulphur odours near the upper glaciers, particularly around the crater rim, where fumaroles vent gases from the volcano's inner chambers. The smell of sulphur dioxide has long been an omen for those who know what it means, a reminder that the fiery heart of Rainier still beats. Yet the mountain keeps its secrets well. Most of its volcanic plumbing system is hidden beneath thick layers of ice and snow. If magma were indeed rising, it could melt this ice rapidly, sending torrents of water, rock and debris down the mountain's flanks. The resulting lahars could reach communities like Orting or Puyallup within an hour, moving at speeds exceeding 100 kilometers per hour, about 60 miles per hour. That's not theory. It's modelled from past events. The last major lahar from Rainier, about 500 years ago, travelled more than 80 kilometres, roughly 50 miles, from the summit. What makes the situation unnerving is not the evidence of an imminent eruption. It's the subtlety of the signs. Nature rarely announces her plans clearly. Volcanic systems often rumble for years or even decades before culminating in a single defining event. Sometimes they quiet again, as if nothing ever happened. But sometimes they do not. There's also the question of timing. Across the broader Cascade Range, a pattern of subtle reawakening has been noted in recent years. Mount Hood, Mount Baker, and even Mount St. Helens have all shown increased seismic or thermal activity within the past decade. Scientists have long theorized that the Cascadia subduction zone, where the oceanic Juan de Fuca plate dives beneath North America, may be entering another period of geological unrest. If that's true, then Rainier's current rumblings might be part of a much larger story, one spanning hundreds of kilometers along the Pacific Northwest. Still, officials urge caution against panic. The Pacific Northwest Seismic Network emphasized in a recent statement that increased seismic activity does not automatically imply an impending eruption. Volcanoes, they said, can talk for centuries without ever acting. But what worries many is not what scientists know. It's what they might not yet see. Because beneath Rainier lies not just a potential eruption, but an intricate web of hot water, gas, and fractured rock that has been evolving silently for centuries. Deep hydrothermal systems can shift suddenly, triggering collapses, explosions, or steam-driven blasts, even without magma reaching the surface. These events might seem small compared to a full eruption, yet they can still be devastating. The challenge lies in predicting which kind of activity is coming and when. Adding to the mystery are strange atmospheric readings recently observed above the mountain. A few amateur meteorologists in the region have noted circular cloud patterns forming around Rainier's Peak, lenticular formations, yes, but denser and lower than usual. Some have even recorded faint flashes of light within the clouds at night, though scientists caution these could be simple reflections of city lights or minor electrical discharges caused by moisture and ice crystals. Still, the timing of these unusual clouds with the recent seismic unrest has caught public attention, fueling speculation across social media that something extraordinary is brewing. As the days pass, the tension builds. Local towns have begun reviewing emergency protocols, while rangers advise climbers to stay alert for sudden weather changes or ground movement. Helicopters have made several passes over the summit, capturing thermal imagery to detect any new heat sources. Though the official line remains one of heightened observation, Insiders quietly admit that the data is being analysed far more urgently than usual. For the people who live in Rainier's shadow, life continues much as before. Children go to school, traffic flows through the valleys, and hikers still ascend the glacier trails. Yet there's a subtle unease now, 
a sense that something ancient may be awakening beneath the ice. Because deep down, everyone knows that Mount Rainier has the power to rewrite everything in a single day. It has done so before, in times beyond memory, when great flows of mud and fire reshaped entire landscapes. The question now is not whether the mountain can awaken, it's whether it's beginning to do so right before our eyes. And as night falls over the cascades, the sensors hum quietly, recording each faint pulse from within the mountain. Something is moving down there, something persistent, rhythmic, and growing more confident. But what exactly is it, and how much time does the Pacific Northwest have before this restless giant decides to show its true power once more? In the days that followed, a quiet buzz of anticipation settled over the research community. Satellite passes detected faint but measurable increases in infrared emissions near Rainier's summit, too subtle to indicate open lava, but unmistakably warmer than usual. A few experts suggested geothermal shifts, perhaps linked to rising heat or fluid circulation deep within the volcano's crust. Others whispered of magma intrusion, a slow, deliberate press upward through old fractures sealed since the last eruption centuries ago. Whatever the cause, the temperature changes were real, and they hinted that Rainier's heartbeat was quickening. Then came a more puzzling discovery. Drones sent to survey crevasses on the Ingram Glacier recorded sounds beneath the ice low-frequency vibrations repeating in short, irregular bursts. When analysed, these signals didn't match ordinary glacier movement or rock cracking. Instead, they resembled harmonic tremor, a vibration signature known to occur when volcanic gases or magma move through constricted vents. It was as if the mountain was exhaling softly, releasing pressure in intervals like a living organism adjusting to its own internal tension. Still, the data alone could not tell the full story. Scientists at the Cascades Volcano Observatory cautioned against rushing to conclusions. Nature, they reminded everyone, thrives on ambiguity. What seems like warning might be adjustment, and what appears calm might conceal immense strain. Yet deep beneath Rainier's glaciers, a slow process of transformation is undeniably underway. If the magma chamber is recharging, even gradually, it means the forces that once sculpted this land are stirring again. In the nearby towns, people have begun to look toward the peak differently. On clear mornings, the mountain gleams golden beneath the sun, deceptively tranquil. But locals now watch for faint plumes near the summit, for unusual smells in the air, for that subtle vibration beneath their feet. They remember the lessons of history, that silence can be deceptive, and beauty can hide power beyond imagining. For now, Mount Rainier stands motionless against the horizon, but the signs cannot be ignored forever. The whispers from within the earth are growing clearer, and scientists know what that might mean. Whether it happens tomorrow, next decade, or a century from now, the mountain will speak again. And when it does, it will remind humanity just how fragile its time upon this restless planet truly is. If you want to stay informed on this developing mystery, on the science, the secrets, and the signs unfolding beneath Mount Rainier's icy crown, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and tap that notification icon so you never miss an update as we continue to uncover what lies beneath America's most dangerous volcano.